Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to get on here and just kind of give you guys some updates. If you guys are on here for a mountain bike video, this is not the video. I hope to really be putting out another mountain bike video next weekend, but this unfortunately is not that video. I just kind of wanted to come on here. I've been gone for a while and um, yeah, just to tell you guys where I've been and also show you the as you can probably see back there, it's the newest edition here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably know about my my Cagney. Um, I'm not going to get into that just because I don't want this to be a sad, awful vlog. So I don't want to make this that. But um, yeah, so my my 20-year-old, five months shy of 20-year-old cat passed away at the end of last year over Christmas. And um, yeah. It's, it's awful, but like I said, I'm not going to go there with this video because, yeah. But, um, anyways, I did want to show you guys the newest edition of my family. She has been a big blessing right now, just keeping me distracted and everything else. You know, when you've had a pet for almost 20 years, since you were 9, I'm almost 30, it's like a human practically, you know. It's, it becomes much more than a pet and it's just... Gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it. I told myself I was not going there in the vlog, and I'm not going to. Um, yeah, it's just awful. I will say that much. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you guys my new dog that I got. So just a little bit of backstory, how this all came together. I have, of course, I've had my cat for you know 20 years. I've never been a dog owner. I've never had a dog, and for the past four years, I think I've known if anything ever happened to Cagney that I would get a dog and I already knew the type of dog I was going to get, the breed, just everything about this dog and then come the beginning of last year I went hiking with a toy Australian Shepherd and that's the dog that I always wanted and it was great having that experience with this dog because we did probably about it was about a 12 mile hike and with a little over 8,000 feet in elevation so it was not an easy hike for this little dog and I was skeptical, I was like, is this dog going to be able to make it? And this dog ended up just laughing us. It was just running laps around us. It just, it was completely fine. And after that, I was like, that's it. If, yeah, if I ever get a dog, this is going to be the dog that I get. So without further ado, I want to show you Lacey. I had Cagney and I had to have a Lacey as well. Hi, Lacey, hello. So this is Lacey. This is probably not the best time to show her to you guys because she is, just crazy right now but this is little Lacey she's a girl and Lacey James to be to be precise here but she is she just turned five months actually yesterday and she's just a little little ball of sweetness she is the sweetest dog she has little blue eyes and she is just such a great pup. She's really just kind of being calm right now. That's the weird thing about her is she can turn it on and off. She's an extremely hyper dog, but she also can just easily turn it right off, which is the like really, really weird thing about her. So I just want to put this little disclaimer here because I know there are, there's people out there like this. I just want this to be known. Like I did look in shelters and everything to try to find the dog I wanted to try to find Aussie, but unfortunately it's really hard. Toy Aussies are hard just not a lot of people breed them and especially since I wanted a blue Merle it, it just made it that much harder to find her I mean there's only a handful of breeders in the US that have these type of dogs you know that I personally found and I felt comfortable with and so forth and so they're just they're not they're not everywhere so the chances of me running across a little blue Merle toy Australian Shepherd were just next to none um, so that's when I ended up going with a breeder. She's sitting on my lap right now. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little backstory why I went with this dog, what my thoughts are on her, how it's been transitioning from always being a cat owner to a dog owner. And yeah, so this breed, I love this breed. I have friends that have this type of dog, this breed, and they're just extremely, extremely intelligent dogs. They're 
so smart. I've never trained a dog in my life, but she has been a breeze. And I was just talking to my mom the other day and I was telling her, I was like, you know, this dog business, because everyone told me having a dog, it was going to be really difficult. It was going to be, you know, like having a toddler and everything. And I told my mom the other day, I was like, this is easy. Like, I don't know what people are talking about. I know I just got really lucky with the kind of puppy she is and just how well behaved she is. And being so easily trainable I can teach her sometimes to do a trick in two minutes and that's all it takes and she's like okay cool I'll, I'll start doing that for you now but it is incredible how quickly she learns and it's just so easy to teach her things to the point where I feel like I am limiting her because I might not be able to know how to train her to do something and you know I'm like running out of things to train her to do so that's that's the problem that I'm running across now yes you want to sit with me but um when I was looking for a dog too I definitely wanted a small dog I'm not a huge fan of big dogs just me personally so I definitely knew I wanted a smaller dog just because my whole idea for when I got a dog was I want to be able to take them or her everywhere and I don't want to have to worry about boarding or anything like that. I just want to be able to take her everywhere with me and just, you know, fly her in the cabin. And so that was a big, of course, reason why I wanted a small dog. And then the only other issue that I, and then the one other thing that it was just really hard when I first started looking was it's hard to find a small dog that can pack all that endurance in. <sighs> Had to drop her down and oftentimes most smaller dogs they can't do the distance that of course a larger dog can do and that's what really just made me f fall in love with Lacey is because she has that endurance she has that stamina and just that breed they're just so high energy and they're not for everyone for that reason because they are super super high energy so don't let her calmness fool you because she's definitely crazy and hyper a lot um, I have to do a lot of stuff just to drain the energy out of her right now since I can't take her on long hikes until she is eight months so yeah that's always a bit of a challenge right now but um of course she won't be able to do Of course she won't be able to do you know the miles that say a standard Aussie could do but she can definitely do a lot of miles so that's the really great thing about her chew toy break right now and I know some of you guys were asking me if I would be training her to be a trail dog a lot of you guys saw on Instagram you got excited but I'm still conflicted with that I don't know if I will train her to be a trail dog or not yet um, of course she's not gonna be able to go with me on like these 20 mile runs or anything crazy like that it'll have to be smaller bike um, trails that I do but I don't know I've read I've looked into it a lot and I've read a lot of people's you know concerns and the pros and cons of it and one thing that someone said which I felt like that would be me was they were saying that they loved it was the best thing but at the same time it almost made it not enjoyable for them because they were constantly worrying about their dog and you know if any if any, someone was going to come down the trail and hit their dog and it was it was just it became too much of a worry for them you know obviously I wouldn't take her to a well-known trail where there's a ton of people but I don't know I don't really know what I'll be doing for that um, yeah so but anyways that's about it for this video I just wanted to introduce you to are you eating something you're not supposed to be eating okay no I just wanted to introduce you guys to her and you guys might be seeing her in some future videos perhaps um, but yeah, this is Lacey, so you'll be seeing a lot of her on Instagram. But if any of you guys have an Aussie, a toy Aussie, please, or just an Aussie in general, because the great thing about these are they have the same, I mean they're the same, they have the same characteristics as their big brothers, so, or the big brothers and sisters, it's a little standard Aussie, so they're definitely the same. Um, so please let me know if you guys have any suggestions anything I should be looking out for I haven't really had too many issues with her right now I mean everything's like I said has been going really smoothly the one thing that I will say that I am now trying to just get the ball rolling on is seeing her commands outside she gets really distracted outside and you know she's excellent inside she'll come to me she'll do all her, all her tricks and everything but it's hard for her to come to me when she's outside and like my brother he told me too he's like you know she's a puppy it's just a lot of that is just the fact that she's a little puppy but you know I'm still trying to 
trying to wean her of that and trying to get her to focus more. So if you guys have any tips, just any tips in general at all, please let me know. I try to educate myself as much as possible on what I can do to be the very best little dog mom here, but um, I would still love your guys' feedback. So I will see you guys in the next video. I promise it will be a mountain bike video, so don't worry. But I will see you guys then. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and bye!